Hey everybody, Carolina Gun Guy. I'm out at the range today, and today we're going to start a new series on this 12 gauge ammo from Ballistic Machinist. Huge thank you to Tim from Ballistic Machinist for sending this stuff out for testing. We're going to take a look over the next few videos at these steel dumbbells, the brass pellets, and the 357 Defender. I'll give you a look at the round for each so you can see the round and the projectile in each. And these are what we're going to take a look at. In this video, we're going to start right here with the 357 Defender. It is a two and three quarter inch 12 gauge slug with a 278 grain projectile. This projectile is basically a 357 Magnum inside of a 12 gauge slug. Here is the projectile up close. It's a hollow point 12 gauge slug with a hollow point 357 inside of it. It's got these O-rings around it that hold it steady inside the round itself, inside the cartridge. So it will come out and when it hits its target, the slug here, it's got these little uh, cuts in it. It'll start to break up and then the, car the 357 will start to move through while the slug part breaks up. Now the package says that the projectile comes in at 278 grains. I've got my little scale here. Let's see what this one weighs in at. 279.8, so right on target. I'm gonna go ahead and set up and we will do some testing with this little guy. So I was initially gonna shoot drywall with this first round, but the range here told me I cannot shoot drywall. So I'm gonna improvise and I have cardboard. I have a few thick pieces up front. Hopefully it'll be enough to start the slug opening up and that will allow the 357 to continue through and we'll see what kind of, um, not what kind of damage because I expect it to go through all of them, but what kind of pattern we get when these rounds start to split open. So here we go. Three thick pieces to begin with and it looks like it may have been just enough to start the process of that slug breaking apart. Here we go, looking through the subsequent pieces of cardboard. The slug starts to break apart and the 357 just continues right through it. You can see by this point we're about 10 pieces deep right here. We have all these little spots right here where the petals of the slug part are breaking up and the 357 is going right through it. The time we get to the last piece, or second to last piece here, you can see there's clear evidence of the way it's breaking apart. And there we go. It looks like, no, I thought that was a little bit of the jacket, but no, that is how it looks. For the next test, I do have a bunch of milk jugs filled with water. I don't know how many it will go through. Water is a great stopper of bullets. I do have eight set up, which is all I can fit on the table. So let's go ahead and see what it does. So we did some damage. We are dripping pretty good here. I go ahead and take a look at the first and second. I don't know which is the first and which one is the second one, but these two are in the front. There's a little bit of a little bit of the jacket right there. This one took some more damage. This one doesn't have much. This one, six. So it looks like it knocked down the eighth one. And it, the last one that actually punctured was the sixth one here. So, yeah, the projectile is in there. So let me go ahead and get that projectile out and I'll show you what it looks like. So here is the 357 Magnum projectile. Like I said, water is a great fight stopper. And this just kind of stopped it dead on. It is just flat right now. So that was a good test. Let's go ahead and find something else to shoot this into. As I was cleaning up the milk jugs, I found these two pieces right here. I put them next to the projectile so you can see what they look like, but it just tore it apart. Now the last thing you want to do at any range, public or private, is leave a mess. Make sure you clean up your milk jugs when you're done shooting them. Now the last thing I'm going to shoot with this is a little piece of AR-500 level 3 armor. Now obviously I don't think it'll go through, but I want to see if I can capture on slow-mo how this looks and reacts once it hits. This is a piece of armor that I've shot through before with 50 BMG, so it's a little torn up, but it does well for our purposes.
so it doesn't look like the slow motion told me anything. You can see little pieces of the jacket right here, a little bit of some other stuff, but doesn't look like it actually told me anything. It hit right there, left a nice little mark, but it was fun to shoot. So overall, if you want the power of a souped up 357 Magnum from a shotgun, this is the round for you. I only shot three of them today. I have two left. I'm going to save those to do another video later. That's it from me, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, a huge thank you to Tim at Ballistic Machinist for sending the ammo out to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked anything you saw in the video, and I'll see you next time. Take care, and God bless.